Hello everyone to the new Chrome OS update video. In this video, I will talk about the native Chrome browsers editor, PDF editor and PDF viewer app. There were some few changes in the Chrome OS 88, which I realized now I want to share with, with you guys. Before you get, we get started, please subscribe and support my channel. I will first here make a PDF document using Google Docs so that you guys all can, can see how you can work with the Chromebook devices. I will go just to Google Docs here. Let's wait. Now I will make an empty page here. First, I will change the title here to test. test. It was reloading the page. So I will write this is a test, page one. I will make two pages here just to showcase how it will look like in the PDF editor, in the PDF viewer, the new one in the Chrome OS 88. I will also bring a picture here so you guys can see how you can multitask here easily using the Chromebook devices. I will just go to downloads and I will just drag and drop. You can see now we have our picture here. I will resize it. And there it is. Now I have my document ready. I will go to data and downloads here. I will, you can have so many options here. We are really flexible with the formats here. I will go with the PDF document here. And now I should get a notification that the document is ready. I will then can close this. And you can see that the document is created in the downloads here. I will just click on that. I can close the notification here. And now that's the new layout for the new uh, PDF viewer in the Chrome browser. In the upper part, in the left upper part, you have this menu bar. You can click on that. You can see the different pages that this document has. So I created two pages here. You can see that clearly here. You can right click, you can save image, but it just creates a small micro image from this, what you see here. So it's not that useful. And I hope in future that you can just drag and move these pages. So that will be really helpful. I know that Chrome OS had this function in the native editor and viewer app. I hope that they will do that also in Chrome OS. Now from upper here, you can also to the, change the page just by typing here the number of the page. That's also useful. You can zoom in, zoom out, it's clear. You can fit it vertically and horizontally in the document that I have here. Fitting in horizontally works much better. You can rotate it, you can download it, you can print it, or you can go so here, you can do this two page view, which can be also nice to see the pages side by side. It just does it for two pages. Then I will go to the editing here. I will try to edit this document. In the editing and the menu bar, you don't see anything new actually. All the things that you are familiar with is there, like the pen and the highlighting and eraser and undo buttons here. But I found something really interesting here new, which is with the pen support. In the past, when I was trying to edit these documents with the pen, it was also registering for my finger input. So that was really annoying to scroll and edit the documents using the pen. But now I will try to write something here on the document using the pen. It automatically detects that I'm using the pen. So now when I'm touching with my finger, now I'm trying to scroll with my finger, it doesn't do any registration of from my finger. And that was not like this in the previous version. So I had to then zoom out and from the sides I had to scroll, which was really annoying. But now I can just scroll using my finger, zoom in, zoom out without any registration from my finger or my palm. And the pen works also perfectly. Now I'm trying to use my pen, works. Now I'm trying to write with my finger, it scrolls, which is, it, it should be like this. So I'm really happy about this update because I use this editor app a lot. Now let's try to make save this document. I will go here, save with your change. I will click. Now I have the test here. I will add test one to differentiate between these documents. I will save it. I can now close this. And now you can see that here in the downloads, you have your newly edited document here. You can click on it and it will open it. 
again you have the menu bar and you can see the different pages from this document so that was all actually that was new here and actually the finger input and the pen support here got better which is really good and news for me at least that i use this app a lot for editing the documents and uh, hope you guys also enjoyed this video and i will try to make more videos like this for the regarding the chrome os as getting it's, it's getting more popular so stay tuned and subscribe to my channel see you guys in the next one